Hi, my name is Logan Martin and welcome to the product tour of the 2023 R270 from Rabala. It is a center console boat with a length overall of 27 feet 6 inches and a beam of 9 feet 6 inches. It has a yacht passenger capacity rating and plenty of storage so it'll keep you and your guests comfortable on those long days out on the water. Let's climb aboard and check out some of the features that make this boat stand apart. The bow of the R270 was designed around fishing and keeping your guests comfortable. If we start all the way at the front, we have our anchor locker built into a wide deck that's covered in our diamond pattern non-skid. Opening this locker lid, you'll find it's mounted on tension hinges to keep both of your hands free while you're accessing the anchor. The boat I'm with today comes with our optional windlass package, which can be controlled here and back at the helm. This forward deck also has stainless steel pull-up cleats, quick release fender mounts, and a rod holder on either side. Stepping back into the bow itself, one of the features that I love most about it is these removable backrests. Now these backrests convert the standard U-shape bench seating that's in the bow into two forward-facing bow rider seats. I'm over six feet tall, yet I can comfortably fit in these bow rider seats with a cushioned bolster coming up to my chest. While you're in these seats, you have easy access to the stainless steel grab rail and a stainless steel draining cup holder on either side. This bow rider seat, when paired with the seat mounted to the front of the console, gives guests plenty of options when riding in the bow, but still leaves you enough room to walk and fish from the bow. Now let's talk about some of the storage we have up here, starting with the two 25-gallon fish boxes that are underneath these front-facing bow rider seats. By lifting on the latch at the back of the lid, you'll notice one of the small details that helps set Rabalo apart from the competition, the stainless steel gas assist struts. These struts are made completely of metal and are built to last a lot longer than their plastic counterparts. Now these fish boxes are insulated, overboard draining, and have a thick seal around the top to make sure your fish stay cold and dry. Underneath this center cushion, we have a insulated and draining 20 gallon cooler. And finally, built into the deck in the center of the bow, we have a large storage compartment that has dedicated storage for your filler cushion supports. This filler cushion, when installed, converts the bench seats into a large sun pad. Then, when the cushions are removed, that sun pad becomes an elevated casting platform, which is great for fishing. Stepping back from the bow, we can take a look at the head of this boat. It is a front entry head built right into the center console, and it wastes no space by having a cushioned seat with grab rails built onto the front of the door. The door swings open to the port side, giving you access to the large doorway that is over three feet tall and over 22 inches wide. Looking inside the head, we can see our standard porcelain toilet, dedicated storage for our bow filler cushion, and a port for lighting and ventilation. The head, of course, comes with a push button electric light, and there are several toilet upgrade options available. The helm is another standout feature of the R270. When you first get back behind the helm, you'll notice the premium bench seat with the flip-up bolster for both the captain and co-captain. This bench seat works well with the footrest that had been molded into the front of this console. This is also where you'll find your waterproof breaker switches. In front of me, we have our stainless steel steering wheel mounted on a tilt base and a knob for your ease of use. To the port side of the steering wheel is our digital Yamaha engine gauge. And then to the starboard side, we have our ignition switches, throttle control, and a locking glove box. Above that, on either side, is a stainless steel training cup holder. Just above that, starting on the port side, we have a phone holder with wireless charging 
a standard USB and a USB-C charging port, a standard 12 volt connection, your trim tab controller, and your Clarion stereo system head unit. Above that, this boat has come equipped with twin SIMRAD touchscreen displays. These displays can give you all the information you need at just a glance while still maintaining a sleek looking dash. Now to either side of these displays, we have backlit push button switches. These switches are superior to a traditional toggle switch or a switch that is built into one of our displays because of its reliability and lasting design. Above these screens, we have a hand stitched vinyl brow to help reduce glare. Above that, molded into the console itself are two storage trays that have anti-slip mats and drain. And between them, we have our standard compass mounted. Now looking up to about eye level, we can see our windshield is made of three panes of glass. Just like the rest of the boat, the cockpit of the R270 has got several options for seating and storage. Built into the deck on either side, we have a 50 gallon insulated and overboard draining fish box. These fish boxes are over a foot wide and extend towards the bow underneath the deck so they'll, they'll fit your largest catches. Looking forward, we have two rod holders built into the gunnels on either side of the boat. These rod holders have reinforced tubes to protect your rods and cushioned mats along the walls to protect your reels. These storage areas also have stainless steel tow rails and the same cushioned bolsters that were found in the back. From back here, we can really appreciate how wide these side gunnels are. They're just about 10 inches wide, covered in our diamond pattern non-skid, and offer you a safe step from anywhere in the boat. Behind me is a standard side entry door. This door has a latch to keep it closed when it's not in use, and a magnet to keep it open when it is. In the center of this doorway is a stainless steel mount, so you can mount your removable stainless steel re-entry ladder. This ladder is stored in the bilge while it's not in use to keep it out of the way. On this port side near the deck, we also have the electrical plug-in for your standard battery charger. Moving farther back, we have a 30 gallon insulated live well with a clear acrylic lid so you can easily keep an eye on it. This area also has a rod holder and a rod holder slash cup holder, which is mirrored on the other side. And that brings us to our aft bench, which is over three feet wide and has a thick cushion on the back. Now when it's deployed, this bench can fit three adults. And when it's not in use, it folds out of the way to give you plenty of cockpit space for fishing. Moving towards the starboard side, Near the deck, we have our standard transom shower. And all the way on the starboard wall, we have a flush mounted transom door. And behind it is our battery switches. So it can always be the last thing that you check on your way out the boat. Now behind this aft bench, you'll find your bilge and battery access. This entire transom wall is on a hinge and has gas assist struts to help you keep it open while you're looking into the bilge. Like the bench, the bilge access is over three feet wide and helps make maintenance easier. Coming out of the boat through the starboard side walkway, you'll step out onto our swim platform, which is covered in diamond pattern non-skid. This non-skid surface extends to the other side of the boat, giving you a safe step in between the engines and the transom wall. The transom wall also has six additional rod holders mounted into the back of it. Next to me, I have a flush mounted lid on tension hinges, which conceals our four step stainless steel reboarding ladder. The boat I'm with today is powered by twin 200 horsepower Yamaha outboard engines. With Riballo's Hydrolift multi-angle hull design and 
electronically controlled trim tabs, this boat gives you a responsive and fuel efficient ride. A popular option for this boat is the Yamaha Maneuverability Package. This package gives you a joystick to control the boat and will give you the confidence you need to safely maneuver around the harbor. Thank you for coming with me on the product tour of the 2023 R270 from Rivala. As you saw, this boat is perfect for both fishing and family fun. For more information on this model or to check out some of our other models, visit Rivalo.com and I'll see you in the next video.